What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to identify, fix and understand orphan content, okay? So before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in our choose internet on our site's favor. So let's get this started. First of all, let's explore what is orphan content. Let's follow this text by Yoast SEO blog, okay? If you want your content to run on Google, it needs to know about the existence of the content, okay? That means that, your, that you or another site have to link to this content. Google follow those links and serves every post or page in finds through links in the index, okay? So, you will understand that it's important to the contextual links to all of your content. That sounds simple, but if you are creating and publishing a lot of content, your linking structure might not be top priority. So, and some of your articles may not get any links. Here, we will explain all about so-called orphan content, okay? What is, what matters, and you'll show how to fix it. So, this gives you an idea, okay? Or this image gives you an idea of what is orphan content, okay? Imagine the content that exists on your blog, but there is no any other part of your site linking to it. This is orphan content, and this is a really, really bad for SEO, okay? How to identify and fix it is what you're gonna learn in this video. So, let's get this started. First of all, you're gonna need the Yoast SEO plugin, but not the Yoast SEO simple one. You're gonna need the premium one, okay? So the Yoast Premium. To install Yoast Premium, you must have installed first the Yoast SEO normal, and after that, you're gonna move to premium Yoast SEO, okay? There is a lot of Black Friday, Black Friday promotions, okay? So if you're using premium Yoast SEO, this guide is for you. And if not, I recommend that you follow it to understand if it's good for you or not. I really, really love this function, but I'm gonna try to bring another guide to our channel using a free option, okay? But let's continue using the premium Yoast SEO plugin. All we have to do now is review the left sidebar of menus on your WordPress dashboard and Next to settings, you're gonna be able to find Yoast SEO. Hover mouse over it and click on Workouts, okay? As you can see, it's a premium feature, okay? Now, we're gonna scroll it down just a little bit and review the Orphan Content Workout. Clear up your unlinked content to make sure people can find it. Let's start the workout. And here is what they are gonna ask you to do, okay? Start. Love it or leave it, okay? So we're gonna exp the Yoast they're gonna ask you if you want to improve, if you want to like, if you like the content or not, okay? We can improve, we can remove, or we can hide from search engines, okay? So it's a recommendation by Yoast, okay? So improve, improve, improve. Let's select improve for every part of our site. This is all of the pages that are without links. I've finished this step, okay? After that, should you update the, your article? So, would you like to update? Is the article updated? It's uh, the information correct or not? If it's all right, I've finished this step as well. Now add internal links towards your alternate article. How to do this? Let me go back to the WordPress dashboard and imagine that I would like to review the alternate content page, okay, or posts. So click on posts from the left side bar of menus. And if you review next to posts and places that you add new, we have uh, tabs called all published, cornerstone content, and orphaned content, okay? You're gonna click into this option right here. This option only gonna appear on your site if you're using Yoast Premium plugin, okay? So click on it. And these three posts 
have no internal links okay so there is no any other part of our site linking to this post so let's view this post let me copy this post url let me go to one of my pages I'm gonna edit this page, okay? It's a new page, okay? It's my home page, for example. But you can find a place where this link is gonna fit better on your site. Now imagine that you would like to apply a link to this post into this section. All we have to do enter is enter the link, update the post, Now let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. Let me reload the WordPress dashboard. Now, if I go to my posts once again and review the orphanet content, once we have linked one of the orphanet content, we have now only two orphanet content. So, if you remember or if you go back to the video, you're gonna be able to find two orphanet contents. But once we have fixed this, we have only those two posts. And to fix, we're gonna go to this post, copy the link, and link this post in another page or post of our site. The same happens for every single post on post type of your site. For example, if you go to pages on your WordPress dashboard and review this top bar, all published drafts, corners.content, we can find 13 orphanate content pages right here. And here are all of the pages. So, as you can see, there is no any other page or post of our site linking to the My Account page, which is really, really bad. And you can ask, but what about the navigation menu? Sometimes the links on navigation menus does not count, okay? So, you most link this page into the body content of your post or of your page, okay? After this made, you're gonna be fixed the orphanate content issue, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case you don't have any question. Don't forget to review this process and do in every single one of our post on post types, okay? So do on posts, do on pages, do on products. If you have team member posts, do on team member posts. Do in every part of our site. Every single part of our site deserves a link, okay? So do the good SEO structure to rank higher on Google. And don't forget to check out our borderless plugin to gain premium widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg or Enzo WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that can start to customize your site in the way that you want or growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts, you can submit your blog for free and connect with a growing blogging community, okay? In the case that you want to promote your site, share your design skills, go to sites.gallery and submit your blog or site right here. It's completely free. You can submit your game, your app, any part of you want. And as a final note, in the case that you want to go premium, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock entire access to our full template library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition for premium blocks, assets, templates, tools, plugins, and many, many more pro features. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best.